Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited with your host, Anon Jr. A uh, little bit of delay there in getting the stream up. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully, uh, <laughs> it'll all be it'll all be right in the YouTube recording. Uh, that would be my cue to remind you that I do upload the stream archives for this show and Tuesday's Coffee Craft Show to my YouTube channel. There are links in the description below. I also plan on putting some produced content in there in the very near future. Uh, life has gotten a little bit crazy this month, and so uh, that produced content's getting pushed back just a little bit, but it is coming. So if you want to see that when it comes around, if you want to be there when those things go live, uh, YouTube description, YouTube link is down in the description below. And uh, do that whole subscribe thing, get the you know the bell, the notification, all that good fun stuff. You've heard a million and two YouTubers tell you how to do it. Uh, I'm not going to insult you by thinking you don't know what to do. <laughs> you know what to do. And uh, if you've also been watching the Coffee Craft, you know that I've got a few things that I'd like to add and put on YouTube that don't really fit with the with the main channel. Not what I have currently, and not what I have planned for the future. So, if you have some ideas for a witty, punny name for a second channel, then uh, please let me know in the comments on the YouTube upload or let me know in the chat throughout the stream today. Just, uh, or, you know, at me on Twitter, at Anon Jr. Uh, yeah, uh, right, oh, there? Yeah, there. Uh, what was it there? What? One of my one of my views is backwards, and I can't tell which. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I, I my monitor's on delay too. That doesn't help any either. So, yeah. Give me an idea if you've got any suggestions for a uh, punny name for a second channel for all the things that don't quite fit on the main channel, and uh, let me know what you think. All right. Now. All that out of the way. We last left off having finished our escape from the Leviathan. We found out <gasps> we are Darth Revan. Um, I, I really feel like when the game first launched, that was a tremendous surprise. Like that was one of those amazing... <gasps> Because the, the, they did give you some clues, and they are subtle. Uh, coming to the game for the first time long after the Knights of... Or long after the Old Republic MMO launched. Um, I kind of knew what was going on. Because one of the expansions delved into the whole uh, Revan storyline bit. And yeah, that, that kind of spoiled it a little bit. Kind of knew what was going on. I... I tried to make sure I gave a no spoiler presentation as we went through, and I hope hope I accomplished that goal. But um, yeah, so there that is, and we have found four of the five star maps. So we are on Korriban, the Sith planet where the Sith Academy is, and we are going to try to get our last bit of star map so we can head on over to the Forge. We are winding down. Which brings me to another point of um, point of order before I actually you know hit load on the game and start running around doing things. Um, we are getting ready to start looking for the next game for Games Revisited. I have two games in mind. I will try to post a poll on either Twitter or YouTube in the near future. Uh, as we get a little bit closer towards the end, like once we start getting to, um, once we finish up Korriban and we're headed on to the Star Forge, uh, it'll probably be then, and, and I'll give you the give you the titles then. One of them is a classic NES game. The other came out for the Super Nintendo. So either way, we're going back to uh, ye old console and uh, having some fun with that. Uh, and I got some other stuff that will go as we go along. Like, I, I really do need to... Um, I don't know if I... Uh, so far, I've been using the Star Wars screen as the intro-outro artwork. 
and I really do need some games revisited type specific stuff. So that is one of the things that's on my agenda for uh, for the channel, or at least for Thursday's games revisited stream, I should say. And uh, yeah, all right, so. Here we are in Corbon. We started going through the market. We had a fun little interaction with a couple of bullies. And then I realized that we're getting ready to launch into a lot of the uh, quest accumulation phase and a bunch of other stuff. And so I wanted to go ahead and start uh, start all that out and uh, go from there. Let me find. Hello, good citizen. Do you have anything useful Yeah, the Zerka Canteen is the yep. only place to go around here for any real fun. <laughs> okay. Is this the Zerka Cantina? Alright. What do we got? What do we got? Something you need? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to try the confrontational. Who are you? So let's go with... Can Look, I ask I'll answer questions, questions if a Sith puts them to me, but not otherwise. Uh, okay. What I mean, mean, I'm here to get into the academy and I'll do whatever it takes to succeed. Hmm. Okay. So you're trying to get into the Sith Academy? So we got, why would you want to get into the academy? Fair question. Why not join the Jedi? Probably going to earn us some of those light side points. Not likely to be that many options for that around here not in live long um what do you think your chances are how does someone get into the academy i'll be on my way i'm really tempted to probe on how does someone get into the academy but i really i don't know if that why not join the jedi is going to disappear as a conversation option later as i've noticed that in some of the weirdest places the uh the conversation options just mm, yeah, go somewhere and disappear so let's go ahead and let's go. Why not join the Jedi? Ha, they're weaklings, not worth anyone's attention. It's oh. the Sith that are going to conquer the galaxy. Weaklings, after all. you say? Uh, hmm. Oh, no good real responses to that. Hmm. So well, how does someone get to the Well, you have to one of the Sith. The final decision rests with Uthura Ban. However, she's the one who decides exactly which of us get into the hmm. academy or not. I've been hanging out hoping she'll come by and notice me, to be honest. How's that working for you? Usually no, she's in the academy, <laughs> but sometimes she comes out into the colony to look for prospects. If she's in the colony, she can usually be found in the cantina, but not always. She's one of the most powerful Sith in the academy, I hear. Oh, that is wonderful, uh, wonderfully specific. Sometimes she's in the colony, maybe in the cantina. I don't know. I've been here for a few days now, and the Sith still haven't paid me any attention. Suppose I should consider mm. myself lucky. I've heard of some of the prospects getting killed. Still, it's all a test, and I'll just have to be strong. And shall we try ha, this one again? They're weaklings, ah. not worth anyone's attention. It's the Sith that are going to conquer the galaxy, after all. All right. Uh... Why? Why? That's really a dumb question. To become a Sith, of course. To wield the greatest power in the galaxy. The, uh... Ha! They're weaklings. Not the worth anyone's power attention. In the galaxy that's it's been the getting, Sith that are going uh, to conquer the galaxy. Getting left and right here lately? Yeah, okay. Alright, uh, I guess I'll yeah, be on my way. Yeah, go on. What about are you, you a smuggler? Suddenly? That's the only way we get some decent goods to buy in this sector. Notice all the Sith have a very British accent, too. Hmm. I heard something about the Wookiees and Edean suddenly revolting. Do you know anything <laughs> about that? Why, uh, no, I don't know anything about that. I've had two that. friends killed by the Sith already. It must be some kind of test. I'll survive and make it into the Academy. I know it. Okay. Greetings. You've heard of that awful business on Edean, yes? Our corporate outpost there has been destroyed by the Wookiee savages. This could put back oh, yeah, the use I of Wookiee labor Zerka considerably. Zerka kept trying to rename uh, we may even have to abandon the planet completely. Huh. Ah, well, what can you do? Sorry, was there something you needed? Oh yeah, I could tell you where you could take that whole Adean thing, but uh, or the fact that you're talking to the guy who facilitated that. All right, 
What does Zerka we do, do some here mining on Korriban? Here and are responsible for local shipping and support of the Sith on Korriban. Our <laughs> starport is mostly just freighters and such. But we do get many travelers that come here to learn from the Sith. This office is mm -hmm. actually our administrative headquarters for this region. Rather inauspicious, isn't it? We offer good prices here to those traders that keep the colony supplied. If you're in need of anything, this is the place to come. Okay. Uh, that is a good question. Zerker works well, with the Sith. Why not? This is Sith space now, and the company has to survive regardless of who is in charge. The Republic, the Sith, eh, the economy has to keep going. Now, was there anything mm. else? Uh, what do you know about the colony? A star, oh, a star map? map? We sell navigational components, if that's what you mean. No, I mean some old ruins. Well, the Sith have some old ruins that interest them up on the surface of the planet. If this map of yours is there, however, they've said nothing about it. Uh, what do you know Not about much. the Academy? The Sith are a rather secretive lot, and they don't allow many <laughs> into the say. Academy. I hear they claim that Korriban was inhabited long ago by other Sith, but no one really knows if that's true. The planet is certainly uninhabited outside of Dreshde, and always has been. Dreshde. Okay, I've been pronouncing it wrong all this time. Dreshde. Okay. Dreshde. I'll have to remember that. Okay. Uh, hmm. How can one reach the Zerka ruins on the Zerka sends freighters to the surface every now and again to ferry artifacts to the core. The men are not allowed out of their ships, however, as only Sith mm. are allowed on the surface. Beyond that, I really can't say. Yeah. Can't say or don't know. You know what? I'm going to skip right to... It's they, very important. They call the site the Valley of the Dark Lords. Ancient Sith are buried in tombs there, along with oh. many artifacts of old. Some of great power, apparently. I don't know anything else. Okay. Neither will you, I'm sure. Only the <laughs> Sith students are allowed access to the site. All right. So only the Sith students are allowed access to the site. Uh -huh. well, what do you know about this? Uh, oh no, I've already got my. Uh, oh, not much. I'm have to go back the Sith that. are a rather secretive lot, and they yeah, don't allow many into the academy. That. I hear they claim yeah. that Korriban was yeah, inhabited yeah, yeah. long ago by Korriban other Sith, but no one really knows Sith. if that's true. The planet is no, certainly knows. uninhabited outside of Dreshde, no, and always has been. Um, Only prospective academy. students. We get many who come here each year hoping to get picked. Many are simply considered too weak, I'm afraid. Ah. I understand there is one main person amongst the Sith who decides which students are worthy. Euthura okay. Ban, I believe her name is. I gotta find Euthura Ban. Do you have Other more than in useful the academy information? Itself, I'm no, sorry, no. I don't know. You have less useful information. Okay. Right. Do come again. And you get. I suppose you've heard about Terrace being destroyed. The Republic must have pushed the Sith into it. That's what I think. Uh huh. All right, no terminal hacking. That's all those folk. What about you, Mr. Zerker? Well, Gerd? this is a Sith colony. They're the law here. I'm here only to protect Zerka's interests. Oh. Okay. No, no boxes that uh. That I can help you protect by taking it somewhere else, somewhere a little bit safer. There we go. All right. Uh, what do we have here? Let's start with you. I can't wait to get back to the core systems. This planet is dangerous with all those Sith wandering around. Dude, you look. This looks like trouble. Good job, Enki. You there, human. You are the one flying the Ibn Hawk now? I saw you disembarking earlier. Then why are you asking if I'm the one flying the Ibn Hawk, huh? Uh, who wants to know? Okay. <laughs> yeah, name's not important. I don't know you, and you don't know me. It's important that we've been waiting for this shipment for a month now. Well, I hate to tell you. I suppose we should be grateful that the shipment survived Terrace at all, though, right? Anyway, hand it over and let's finish this. Hmm. <laughs> 
Well, yeah, that pretty much covers the range of options right now. Cause and what over? Uh, I'd say you've obviously have me mistaken for someone else, but it's clear he's keying off of the Ebon Hawk. I could start with I'm no smuggler. If that's what you're implying, but let's uh let's see if we can figure out what's going on with this. And what? Wait a minute. You don't work for Davik? Just how is it you happen to be flying the Ebon Hawk anyway? <laughs> about those questions you might not want the answers to. Uh, I don't want in trouble. What business is yours? I'll be straight up. Tavik's dead. You see my buddy Kurth over there is wearing his armor. <laughs> well, when the planet explodes, you gotta expect a few changes. Tavik's dead, eh? Maybe you can still help him or something. Yeah. Wheeling and dealing. We can arrange for several kilograms of spice to be shipped to us here aboard the Evan Hawk. Perhaps Davik will be left it on board. Ooh. That is a good question. Because there is that one secret compartment that I can't seem to open. <laughs> I suspect if it is, it would be in a container we gave him. Locked and requiring a code. Might you have seen such a thing? I may have. How much is it worth to you? I could take a look for it. There's nothing like that on the ship. Yeah, you know what? I don't want to get involved in this. Are you sure? The people I represent could make it worth your while. Fine, I'll take a look at your container. How well worth my while? No, not how well worth my while. Well, maybe if I had a different crew with me. No, 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 no. Uh... I said, I didn't want to get involved. <laughs> that is unfortunate. The people I represent will be displeased. Well, they can be all the displeased they want. They've already lost their interest on Terra's FBA. Yeah. But it is your choice, human. Pray that no one takes your refusal personally. <laughs> yeah, let them take it personally. Antina signed. The drunk side. <laughs> the drunk side. Seriously, that that's the Sith bar? The drunk side? I guess we got the dark side, the light side, and the drunk side? Alright, what do you have to say, Miss Perspective Sith? What do you want? And I'm trying to get into the Sith Academy. You? Around here they call us hopefuls. I wish I knew to tell you the <laughs> truth. You have to impress one of the Sith, I guess. Either way, it's Euthura Bon who makes the final decision. She's a Twi'lek Sith Master, I hear. Oh. Very high rank. She's the one right, who decides well, gives which me a little more information in and which ones don't. And where is? I really couldn't say. I hear that sometimes she comes out into the colony to drink at the cantina, though. But I guess she could be anywhere. Yeah. Okay. What do you think your chances are? Good, but I've been here for days now, and I haven't drawn any attention at all. I suppose that might be good. I don't know. Some of the <laughs> attention the Sith have shown you to other say. helpfuls has been pretty deadly. All right. Uh, so why not join the Jedi? The conquer the galaxy. There aren't going to be any more Jedi, are there? I guess I'd rather join the winning side. Uh. All, all right. right. Goodbye. I've had two good friends sir. killed by the Sith already. It must be some kind of test. I'll survive and make it into the Academy. I know it. Uh huh. All right. So we got a few people. All right. Let's uh. Let's start with this side. Greetings, Sergeant. Oh, of course. There's a Kazakh player everywhere. Come on, man. One more round of cards. Uh, will he actually answer some questions? 
<laughs> there are others here to answer your question, Sentient. To be honest, if we're not going to engage in some entertaining sport, I'd rather be alone. Okay. Well then, you can be alone. Alright, goodbye. Fuck. I'm probably gonna find out that I really should have been beating these guys left and right all across the galaxy for some special questicle bonus thingy. Oh, there's a box down that side. Alright, let's talk to this guy first. <laughs> okay, somebody else talking to me about the Evan Hawk. Beating sentient. Yeah, I bet it is always welcome to the canteen. Uh, you know, it's only about the Evan Hawk? Only what I hear from rumors, the Hawk has been a frequent visitor of the Corbin in the past, though often with a different owner. In all fairness, I should tell you that many of the past owners were suspected of being smugglers, slavers, and pirates. It was even whispered that some were from the exchange. Actually, I'm pretty sure Davik owned it the whole time and just had different pilots. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I always found the Hawks owners to be excellent citizens of fine character. The kind of people I prefer to do business with, if you're catching my hint. Oh, wait, no, that was the subtext. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's start with the big one. Do you know anything about a star map? <laughs> Could you be more specific? What manner of star map do you seek? A very old kind. Perhaps the excavations. It may be possible the only artifacts I've ever heard mentioned are in relation to the Sith and their valley of the Dark Lords. Alright, so I guess I didn't need to force persuade the guy to find out about that. Uh, what can you tell me about the excavations? I'm very little. None are allowed in the ruins other than the Sith themselves. Uh, hmm. That's all. Evan Hawk, Starman. Surely there must be some way to go there. I'm afraid not. The Sith have a passage that leads to their valley from within the monastery, but only they may use it. Alright, uh... Since we're on the subject of Sith, what do you know about the Academy? The Sith built their Academy here to train students. Many go to train there, though I do not know why. Most are not permitted to train, and many die in their attempt to be admitted. Hmm. Many of their students, and sometimes the Sith themselves, come to my cantina, look around, and you will see them. I have very little choice as to their presence. Yeah, I, I kind of gathered that. I mean, we're in the academy. Alright, uh... Anything else interesting? <laughs> this cantina has been provided by the Zorka Corporation. And it's quite close. This is as I prefer it elsewhere. It is not always safe or quiet. The Sith are not always pleasant in their dealings with others. If I had to say, I would prefer they and their academy were not present here, but I did not. Oh, are they poor tippers? Alright, um... Uh, just in case, what do you know about the other one? Oh, okay. <laughs> Only what I hear from rumors. The hawk has been a frequent visitor, though often with a different owner. Hmm. And also, yes, okay. Now we're back to uh, the history of smugglers, slavers, slavers, and pirates. And it was even whispered that some worked for the exchange. Okay. And now you're going to try to butter me up? Yada yada yada. Skip. Yep, uh, that's it for now. <laughs> As you desire. Alright, uh, how about you? Controlled by the Sith. Be wary of them. One of my friends in Zerka said they've been driven off Edean by those Wookiee creatures. Barbaric beasts. 
Yeah, go ahead. Say that a little bit louder. You own the Ebon Hawk, don't you? Wish I could fly a bird like that. Greetings, friend. Oh. Fellow pilot, are you? Wouldn't mind taking a spin in the Ebon Hawk myself. Sleek ship, that one. Mm. No. But that is a good question. Does everybody here know about the Ebon Hawk? In a small colony like this, everyone knows mm. everyone's business. It's better than thinking too much about all the Sith lurking about here. The Hawk's been in and out of here for ages. And out of the way, Starport is a good place for uh, <laughs> privateers. privateers. Not saying you are one. Oh, yeah. And what kind of ship uh, do you buy? Just a boring freighter. Boring freighter, We've huh? had some pretty steady work here, though, since the Sith started their excavations up on the yeah. surface. In case boring you're forgetting, freighter, huh? partner, they don't exactly want us talking about their business. Ah, uh, who cares about them? Hmm. I've seen some of those things they're digging up in those ruins in the valley. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. Really? What have they been digging artifacts. up? Looks like alien stuff. Maybe aliens oh, lived on Korriban a long time ago. Who knows? Don't be stupid. I was talking to one of those Sith, and he said there are tombs there dating back to when the Sith were here in ancient times. Oh. There were Sith here in ancient times? Sounds like he was feeding you a line. Korriban's only been settled for a short time. So says yeah. you. Oh, he wow. said the planet was settled by the Sith a long time ago. And then they all left or something. Those tombs are really important to him. Tombs, eh? That makes the stuff they send us even creepier. Wish I didn't have to haul it around. Mm -hmm. Decisions. Uh, where do you take these things, or do you have any of these artifacts now? Where do you take these We used these to haul things? everything to Terrace, and the Sith would take it off our hands there. Not sure where we'll be bringing it now. <laughs> Do you have any no, of these artifacts? we're not due for another shipment for at least another week. Oh, okay. So how would one get to these expeditions? It's in a valley on the surface, beyond some mountains to the east. No land route. That's why they have us fly in. Huh. Shows what you know. The academy has a route through the mountain. That's how all their students get to the excavation site. Well, regardless, the Sith don't let anybody near that valley. Even when we land, they watch us like a Drebarian hawk and want us gone quickly. So, uh, no one can sneak into the valley Not by a ship? chance. You'd be better off sneaking through the academy if you want to go to the valley. Ha! Now that'd be a sight to see. All sure right. thing. Thank Good you, gentlemen. Flying friend. You've actually been useful. I greatly appreciate that. And what do we have in the crate in the back? I'm gonna just like left 150 bucks on a box in the back. Okay. Yeah, repair kits. Eh, parts. Okay. Is it just a random box in the back? Alright, so we've talked to everybody in the cantina. Nobody knows the lady we're looking for. So, let's try the exit from the colony. And head over to the Sith Academy and see what we can see over there. This music is ominous. You're gonna go beep beep beep, right? Yep, yeah. okay, just checking. And you're I gonna cannot use render this. assistance, citizen. Move along. Okay. Uh, really? What's in the metal box? Computer spike. Yeah. That could be useful. No, nope, no way to go down that way. Oh well. It was worth a shot, right? Side. Anything worth taking? Sure. We'll try it out. Okay. And another repair kit. 
If nothing else, I can solve it for the credits. Alright. So we got... Three prospective students still alive. A guard. An officer looking dude. Alright, let's start with these guys over here. You, sir. <laughs> I have to stand at attention. Please don't distract me, whoever you are. Uh, okay. What are you doing? I'm trying to prove my worth to enter the Sith Academy here. We were told that if we stood here long enough, we would be worthy. Have you seen the dead bodies? <laughs> We've been here for so many days. I'm so hungry. Some of us have died, but I must be strong. I must. I will keep standing. Yeah. Uh. The one watching us from over there. He said this was how we should prove our work. Alright. I have a thousand words of food. But first, do I still have the option to give you some food? I must be strong. Make this fight worthy. Soon, I hope. What about you? Same deal? Soon enough, fool. And when you do, I will be there. Laughing as you collapse from heat exhaustion and Meikle's beatings. Well, okay then. And what about Please, you? Don't hurt me. I am too weak with hunger. Hmm. Well, okay then. All right, Mr. Meikle. Is there something Meikle? specific you wanted? Are and what if Michael? I am? Why are you making that is the whole there? point? Personally, I think it's wonderful fun. Those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough, I'll let them become a Sith. Idiots. A Sith is not a banter, all endurance and no brains. A Sith would fight for his life no matter the odds. If these rot grubs are as stupid as they seem, then they deserve their fate. Uh <laughs> Sounds like fun. No. Wouldn't it be more merciful just to kill them? Eh, no. But this isn't a real oh, test. Oh, it's a test, all right. It's a test to see if they're actually fool enough to die. If they don't, however, I certainly wouldn't admit them just for that accomplishment. You should not toy with people's lives. Oh, what a sweet guy. He should get the Sith Congeniality Medal. Hmm. hmm. It is a bit boring standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while I gorge myself. They'll still be here in an hour or two, surely. I suggest you run along before I decide to make you part of the fun. Oh, go ahead. Try to make me part of the fun. Are you... Oh. Are you seriously gonna run off? Alright, fine. Can I convince you to leave? We're oh, talking to Michael. I saw you. Where did he go? <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, he told you you are uh, not yet. He said that your final test is to attack the guard? Ooh, that's rough. He said you should go home, the Sith aren't for you. Eh, hey, he's tricking you. He's never gonna hurt you. Uh, I'm trying to help you, man. I mean, persuade isn't my strong suit. I'm beginning to think I should have uh, put a little more in that. <laughs> Go now and tempt me no more. Just leave me alone. I have to get to the academy. Hitting me. Leave, leave me be. I won't listen to your manipulations. I, I will make it into the academy. Just, just a few hours longer. Just a few hours just longer. Just a few yeah, hours. No. Surely. Dude, it ain't happening. Talk to Meckel. Have I proved my worth? Did he say anything? 
Yeah. He's tricky. No, there can't be. Oh, come on, You're man. You're wrong. I can't have wasted my life. Um. Well, crap. I wasn't able to save him. Can't, like, hit him with a med pack or something? Oh, that's rich. All right. You are neither a Sith, nor do you bear the medallion of a student of this facility. Please, leave at once. <laughs> Alright, uh... Ooh, I've got options. <laughs> I'm Darth Revan. I was Lord of the Sith. Let me in. That is an option. I'm not sure I want to lean on that one, though. Uh, how do I become a Sith, then? What's this medallion you mentioned? You will let me inside. I need to get inside. Um... Oh, I try. have been conditioned to resist mental oh. persuasion, citizen. Please, do not attempt that again. Fine. What's this it is medallion? the device given to one who has been accepted into the Academy, but has not yet proved their worth as a student. If one of the Sith decides you are worthy, you will be given one. Which you must then take to Yathura Ban, who I believe is in the cantina. It is she who decides which hopefuls enter the Academy. Alright, then I guess I'm gonna go way, find her. Citizen. Yeah, okay. I mean, I could just rush the door, too. Dude, Garth, you're in my way, man. Uh, maybe I'll find that other Yahoo. Can I get another? Can I get another shot at chatting with uh, Michael? Ah, uh, there's a new person in the cantina. This must be yes. You are the person I'm looking for. Is there for. something you need, Jedi? Make it good, for I have little patience. So you know you are I far am. from the first Jedi who has come here after all, willing to abandon that decrepit order of yours. Are you I am. the person I'm looking Obviously, for? you have been told of me. Is it your desire, then, to train at the Academy? Do you wish to become a Sith human? No. Yes, that's exactly why I'm here. Let me join you. No, I would never join the Sith. Maybe. I haven't given much thought. Why would I like to join the Sith? And what if I said I was already a Sith? Ooh. I'm not liking any of these options. Why would I want to join the Sith? <laughs> An interesting question and not one I hear often. For most, the benefits of becoming a Sith are quite obvious. We wield ultimate power, my friend. <laughs> To be a Sith is to taste freedom and to know victory. Nothing is as glorious as bending the Force to your will. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. And what about the Hide bound relics who burden themselves with tradition. And with the protection of the weak and ungrateful, mm -hmm. they are pitiful and misguided. Why would you take a gift as glorious as the Force and squander it? Weaken yourself deliberately and shackle yourself to outdated mores. Our gift has made us superior. It is our rightful place to rule. How can any deny that? Yet the Jedi do so, and call us evil because we do not. You know the name. Code. Malak is the strongest of us, and the strongest always rules. At least until one who is stronger can take it from him. That is our way. Mm -hmm. Survival of the fittest. You are always on guard, always lean for the kill. We promote it, for through this, the Sith are stronger. Yeah. You kill if each a other? Sith is proven to be weak, and if the time is right, the Force rewards the cunning and the mighty. Step up to the challenge if you dare, or turn tail right. and run. Well, let's have at it. 
Uh, what if I said I would it was consider a that an amusing ploy to try and enter the academy. Why? Who will you claim to be? Darth Malak himself? What about Darth Revan? What about Revan? Revan is dead. You may have a natural hmm. gift for the Force, human, but you've no gift for lies. Wait, what? Okay. Well, just out of curiosity, since we've done all the other conversation options, but you serve the Dark Side It is the Jedi the who serve the Force, trying to discern its wishes like frightened old men staring at the stars. The Force serves us. We shape it mm -hmm. to our will. We are its master. The mm -hmm. Jedi deny their darkness, but we revel in it. We allow it to fuel our strength. Yeah, it seems Corruption is a word the pitiful use to describe the natural longing for power that they deny. Evil is a word trumpeted by the weak to ease their heart. It is true that the Force exacts a physical toll on some, but not a single one of them has ever regretted it. Anything else you hear that. is propaganda. You've heard enough, have you? <laughs> so what is it to be? Are you here to be a Sith or not? No. no Why might that be? There is something odd about you, human, that I cannot place. Obviously, you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? Hmm. No, but I don't know what you're talking about. Yes. Okay, yes, they did train me, but only very little. Uh, technically true, technically not true. What difference does it make? Uh, I've forgotten most of my training, it seems. With what difference does Perhaps it make? Perhaps none. Perhaps all the difference in the world. Either way, you possess enough raw power to intrigue me greatly. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? Well, I could try the Persuade. However, that is not exactly my strong suit. So, again, I suppose that would interest me. Yes. Uh, here, let's try the lie. I see. Somehow, <laughs> however, I am unconvinced. No, my friend. I'll not be the one to bring you into our academy. If one of the other Sith accept you and give you a medallion, then perhaps. But otherwise... Not today. Run along now. Okay. So, I need to get a medallion. Where's that punk that was bit picking on me earlier? Guys, I really need you to get out of my way. Mm. Alright. Perspective Sith won't have tokens. Sith Thug Leader. You know what? Let's go ahead and save the game. And... 20. Okay. I've got a funny feeling this might answer my Hey, what's problem. this? Looks like we found ourselves a bit of sport, my friends. This is good. I want to celebrate my acceptance into the Academy. Me too. <laughs> so how about it, chump? Ready to die? I'm eager to blow off some steam after those tests. Uh, not trying but to pick a fight. we do. Isn't it obvious? Alright. <laughs> Are you sure you want to die? Here's a hundred bucks. Buy a drink. You don't want to fight me. I'm trying to be reasonable. Yeah, let's try. Yeah, I don't want to fight you. Oh. Hey, that's a Jedi trick. What? You, you won't get away with this. Oh, fine. 
You guys want to do this? Are you sure you want to do this? Because, uh... Alright. We can do this. Alright, let's throw that. Let's get you in stasis. Uh, you know what? Let's do a throw saver just in case we can hit more than one. That'll take our all four. Stasis and slow. And, oh, yes. Alright, so let's get you to do a throw saver over there. And then a force wave. And drop some power attacks. And let's get you to focus on that Yahoo over there. Yes! Alright guys, just remember, you asked for this. Alright. What you got? A Sith medallion. Stems that you probably should have used. Production kit, repair kit, okay. What about your buddy over there? Where's the fourth one? I thought there were four of these guys. Once you become a Sith, you can do anything. You can feel the power coursing through you. None of you fools can compare to me. We eat an art, an artitai, GP Casa, Kingu Mua Muli Radwana, Kachok. Was that the fourth one? I think that was the fourth one. Please! You're jealous. You're jealous of my power. You think you deserve this medallion, don't you? See, I have the power to do anything. Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donko searcha chupapanki. Sniveling fool! Like you would ever belong beside me in the academy. I'd rather kill you now and save us the trouble. What's this? It seems I have an audience. Look, Jedi, just keep walking. Unless you need some of the same. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm not you can't stop kill me! One. You first, human! And then she dies. Okay. Seriously, though, I'm kind of mad that I'm missing the fourth body. I'd love to find out where that went, but it looks like first. Yeah. Come on, Mr. Doc. Alright, actually, you know what? Let's hit him with stasis. Then we'll throw, and then we'll hit those up. And... I'd love to know where that fourth body was, because there were four of them. Oh, of course, Jahani can't reach anybody. And yeah, what about you, Mr. Karth? Yeah, no grenades. I don't want collateral damage, so we'll just have you... chuck some power blasts down that way. Must you seriously get right up in front of the Dark Jedi? Time to rumble! Ah. Alright. And you've got a medallion. Okay, so we got two medallions. <laughs> and a Bondar crystal and some grenades. Well, I mean, if you don't want them. Hey, where did the, uh... Where did the lady we saved go? No. Oh. I love how New York this place is. Five people. Just, you know. Completely obliterated. 
Nothing to see here. Carry on. Alright then. It appears we have our tokens. So, uh, let's go. Let's go see the lady. A lady. Actually, before we talk to her, let's go ahead and save the game. Just in case. Okay. You again. What do you wish now? What do you wish now? I have this so, medallion. So, one of the others accepted you, even after I did not. Hmm, you're lucky, human. For I'm in a forgiving mood. Oh, yeah. I will take you to I the Academy. Right. And we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume. Oh, I really wish I had another answer. I, yes, yes, we are only servants to the, the master. There is something odd about this servant of yours. No matter, make sure they don't <laughs> disturb your training or cause trouble. You are responsible for them. Now, are you ready to go to the academy? Yep. Then let Let's us go leave. to the academy. The master of the academy awaits you. Story time. Greetings, uh -oh. prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. <laughs> Who do you bring before late me, entry. Thura? A young human bristling with the force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. Promising? I, that one's not worthy to lick spit off your shoes, Master. I met this hey, one in Mr. the colony. Jandus. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank <laughs> you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? Uh, Sith do what they want and pay no heed to duty or discipline. Uh, that's not quite true. They do pay heed to duty. Uh, evil and have surrendered themselves. Yeah, that's not going to help me with the acceptance. I've forgotten. <laughs> yeah, that always goes well, right? Every time you go to the teacher and go, oh, I forgot. All right, so let's go with uh, I know the Sith are powerful, a force a to be reckoned with. A diplomatic answer, if not the core of the matter. Our power is obvious. The question in truth goes much deeper than the surface. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to gift. be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as well, the Force we... is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. Well, it is. Also that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true mm. potential. It means not the stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. <laughs> be what you were meant to be. That's fired. What say you, Shots Rasha? fired. Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash <laughs> and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much <laughs> anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? Hmm. I don't like any of my options. And one of my companions... I'm ready to learn more, I don't know... Uh... Alright, let's go with I'm ready to learn more. Are you? I can see into your heart, young human. And I see the dark kernel that is there. If it is ready to sprout, remains to be seen. Now then, all of you <laughs> five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one Only of you, one. however, <laughs> will succeed.
The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again. Oh, okay. If I thought survive. it was going to be only one My succeeds pupil, because only one of you will be alive. Be your teacher and Survivor, master one Sith style. To prove yourselves. You are the weakest words. link. As Master Goodbye Uthar forever. said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, hmm. one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige, prestige. to be selected. What is an act of worth? Mm -hmm. You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny. Or go, home. or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest mm -hmm. is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. Does it now? Items received. Uh, all right, that's the Bondar crystal. We took one off of a dude. Oh, we never did finish uh, getting all this stuff selected. Um, hmm. Labor contract. What? This data pad card contains a contract to trade weapons for slaves and a manifest of goods already delivered. It would seem that Rar had sold a number of wiki... Oh, oh, okay, okay, no. That's one of those old quest items that I really do need to stash in storage. Our Dantooine star map, our Kashyyyk star map, our Manan star map, our Tatooine. Oh, goodness gracious. Then what would have come in here? Advanced med packs, antidotes, life support packs, repair kits, construction kits. I still got the Bantha fodder too. <laughs> oh, and some environment suits. Okay. Good to know. Hair trigger. Uh oh, 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 okay, yep. Uh that was the that was the dude. Hunter's license, map of the Dune Sea. Hmm. Uh, prison key, Sith hangar key, some medallions. Sith pass card. Oh, that's for the detention area. This identification small card marking you as a student. Oh, okay, that must have been the new one. So that is the item we received, so we could get around at student access at least. What else do we have? Hmm, okay. Oh, yep. Alright, let's go ahead and select these real quick so they don't show up next time I hit show new items again. Alright, where are we? We, uh, I don't like that there's only one bed for the three of us. That could get interesting. All right, what do they give us in the footlocker? <laughs> Welcome to the Sith Academy. Here's some med packs. Oh, and your robes. And 150 bucks. Spend it well. <laughs> Are those robes going to be any better than Darth Dead's armor? Hmm... Nope. Nope. Not even close. Cancel. Close. Done. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I should have known, you know, is the student's armor better than the Darth somebody that I went ahead and murdered already? Ah, of there you are. Be. My favorite prospect for the year. Wait, 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 wait. I thought you were the one belittling me earlier. Now I'm your favorite prospect? Absolutely. By my mm -hmm. estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. I can't refuse? Would you like to hear it? I mean, this does seem like that kind of family. <laughs> All right. Sure. Good. 
I do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance. As I said, Lady, you're no you're doubt going type. to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that mm -hmm. occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's in leadership. leadership? Uh-huh. Okay. So what's so the important about this The tomb is an ancient tomb? ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Well. Darth Malak went there? Very interesting, isn't it, Master? Reaching that map as they did is part of the final test. At okay. any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be no, alone. No, I'm pretty sure it's the tomb that's important because I need important. that star map. <laughs> And just to be blunt here, you want me to kill Master Yu? Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone, or as if you will get nothing out of it. Mm -hmm. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. <laughs> People against Master. Sounds familiar. And so it should. It is central to our beliefs. <laughs> it is my responsibility to replace my master when I am strong enough. Two there are always. Until the student decides he's ready to be the master. Right? Is that now? Isn't that how that works? Okay. Uh, how do I know this isn't some <laughs> sort of test? You must not know much about the Sith yet. If Uthar were even to suspect that I might be trying to supplant him, true or not, well, let's just say he wouldn't likely stop to ask too many questions before ensuring I was oh, really? dealt with. Sure. I'm so What's glad to see it my way. World. I will begin to make preparations Universe. for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't <laughs> disappoint me. Alright. Uh... So. Yeah, let's start. How do you I get must more impress prestige? Master Uthar. Go to him with news Thank of you your that. deeds. I picked that one. Or artifacts you have discovered. The first and easiest way would be for you to learn the code of the Sith and speak it to him. I can teach you that if you like. Shall I go on? Sure. Yes, go on. There are a group of students who refused an order by Master Uthar to execute a group of civilians in the colony. Uthar declared that they were to be executed themselves, but the students escaped and fled before the order oh. could be carried out. We are certain that they have not left Korriban. No doubt they have not gotten far and are simply in hiding. We just do not know where exactly. If you were to locate them and carry out Uthar's order, I am sure he would be most appreciative. Shall I go on? Sure. I would suggest you what talk to the other prospective Sith and find one you can gain an advantage with. I believe Lasho would be an excellent choice. She is too trusting. I have little doubt you could talk her into letting you help her somehow. Just make sure it is you who gains the advantage, not her. Be ruthless if you must. That is the only thing that Why don't I get the feeling I need a different set of companions? The only other idea this. I can suggest to you is that you head into the Valley of the Dark Lords on the surface. There are ancient ruins there which can be explored. It's possible you might find some artifacts or information in them which would please Uthar. It's difficult to say for certain. Alright, uh quick before the option goes away what is I this can code help of you the it. would you like to hear it peace is a lie there is only passion through passion I gain strength through strength I gain power through power mm. I gain victory through victory my chains are broken the force shall free me simple words mm -hmm. yet easily misunderstood would you care for me to explain anything oh wow Okay. The Jedi would have you believe that peace is a desirable goal. That peace of the spirit is the way the Force is mastered. That a lack of conflict betters man. 
We know different. It is our passion, our hate, and our desire that fuels the Force. It is conflict that improves the lot of civilization well, and so far, Sith being have done a better job explaining conflict the code than the Jedi one did. To better oneself. It forces that change, scares me. growth, adaption, evolution, or death. These are not mm -hmm. our laws, but the universe's. Without conflict, you have only stagnation. What fuels your power with the Force but your passion? The stronger, darker emotions. Anger, hatred, fear. These passions empower us. All right. Jedi say the answer. The Force opposite. gives us all power, even the Jedi. It is our mastery of our passion that gives us the strength uh -huh. they lack. Those do seem like awfully well, negative, negative passions. Compared to what? What keeps even the most rudimentary creature alive? Fear to run. Anger to fight. Without it, a creature would most surely die. Uh, so are you saying we're nothing more than We are far creatures? more than them, perhaps. But in some ways, we are little different. To think us creatures beyond the need of simple passions is a delusion. Mm -hmm. It is see. our goal to be stronger, to achieve our potential and not rest upon our laurels. We are the Seekers, not the Shepherds. Alright, uh, so that's peace. What about strength? The stronger you become in the Force, the more power you will achieve. But always must you fight for your power. Without strife, your victory has no meaning. Without strife, you do not advance. Without strife, there is only stagnation. And... Power. How many sorts of victories can you imagine? Peaceful victory, victory by sacrifice, a truce, an achievement. Unless the victory is well, achieved by demonstrating that your power is superior, it is only an illusion, temporary at best. We seek more. Yeah. All right. What about those? This has been victory? argued over and often. The chains represent our restrictions, both those placed upon us and those we place upon ourselves. Ultimately, the goal of any Sith is to free herself from such restrictions. In a way, it is so we may do mm -hmm. whatever we wish, but it is much more than that. One who has freed themselves from all restrictions has reached perfection, their potential fulfilled. Perfect strength, perfect power, perfect destiny. Imagine it. That is our ideal at any perfect rate. Horse it is said in Sith legend that the Sithari, the perfect being, will one day lead us. But perhaps that is just a legend. <laughs> you don't think the Sithari can I exist? I wonder what that being would be like. The legends say the Sithari will destroy us and make us stronger than ever. Why do but I get the feeling it would just, just destroy you? Perfection is a goal, I think, rather than a state of being. The Jedi would argue that, no doubt. All right, the Force, shall the force is our servant and our master, our teacher and our companion. A weapon and a tool. Know it, and you know the universe. Master it, and you master the universe. Strive for perfection, and the Force shall reward you. Mm -hmm. All right, I, I am not surprised. It. The Force is strong with you. Master it, and it shall serve you well. All right, so I asked about options for prestige, more about the code. What about the ruins? I have been involved in the work there over the last couple of years, but not often. Most of the excavating is left to the students. What did you wish to know? Is there any way to the tomb of Nagasaki? Not unless you are accompanied by Master oh, Uthar. No, okay. it is strictly forbidden. And I truly doubt you could bypass the doors to the tomb with anything less than ship blasters. Even then, perhaps. Okay. There's no None. other way? I do not even know how Master Uthar gains entrance, to tell the truth. Though I look forward to discovering that fact. Mm -hmm. I have searched many times, so do not bother. There is no other way. Do not fret, yes, however. because if you couldn't Simply find it, there the must not be another way. Simply get the you need, and you will see the tomb soon enough. Well, we could learn Sith much about the history rooms. of the ancient Sith, why they were on Korriban, and why they left. Perhaps we could learn I'm more about, about the origin of the Force itself. 
With that knowledge could come great power. You see, there's this guy named George Lucas, and oh no, not that origin of the Force. Gotcha. All right, I've wish. heard enough. All right, the ruins. All right. That, that seems oddly self-serving, but sure, we'll go with it. Do you know anything Revan? about Darth Revan? You mean Darth Malak's former master? That's the Very one. little. I never met him personally, though I heard hmm. he was a very powerful man. Very charismatic. In Lady, the end, have you seen my Revan was score? outshone by his pupil. Such is the way of the Sith. Why? Is this dead man of importance to you? Ooh. Options, options. So you think it's possible Revan might be alive? So you wouldn't recognize Revan if the two of you met? <laughs> That's awfully cheeky. Now, you mentioned that Revan came here before. That might actually give us useful information, so let's try that. Both Revan and Malak came to Korriban when they discovered the tomb of Nagasato. That was before my time. Mm-hmm. So we didn't recognize Is Revan there any reason I should? Met? Beside the fact I did not know Revan in life, Revan was known for wearing a full helmet and cape. Perhaps Revan's oh, body fair. had been disfigured by the power of the Force. It is not unheard of. Regardless, I doubt I shall be meeting Revan anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, you're totally not meeting Revan anytime soon. Nope. Although... I do find it kind of interesting, the the uh, Revan wearing the full helmet and cape. That, that definitely seems to be a recurring theme when you look at Vader wearing the full helmet and cape. And then they went with uh, Ben Solo in the Dris Disney movies, such as they are. Starting off with the full helmet and cape before a certain other director came in. Uh... I'll get to that rant in a little bit. But, um... That is interesting. Alright, uh... So, do you think it's possible Revan might Anything be alive? Anything is possible. Uthar's former master still lives, though he is oh. in no condition to challenge his former pupil for leadership. Perhaps the same is true for Revan. Perhaps Revan is out there, somewhere, waiting to take revenge yep. upon Malik. Revan Malik. is totally More out there. More likely what we were told is somewhere. the truth. Revan is dead. Somewhere Malik would be mere feet to away. Leave his old master alive. Sorry, meters. Considering all the knowledge. Apparently, we're metric a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. All right. Uh, Fair that's enough. all I've got. All right. You can actually tell about me about myself. yourself. I'm originally from Slaheron, if you must know. I was a slave to a cruel master, Omish the Hut. I'm sure you don't need to know more. All right, um, did I ask about the ruins? I'll try I have been involved in the work there over the last couple oh. of years. Yep, no, nope. that's it. As you wish. Uh, ooh. So now we can go I further? Did. I also said that you didn't need to know more. Why are you asking? Why are you asking? I just want to know some more. Very well. Oh. I suppose there's no harm in the I tale. I passed? As I said, I was originally a slave to one of the huts. The huts control everything on Slaheron, and a slave is Actually, nothing I kind of figured the huts control everything. I was everything. determined Period. not to be nothing. One night when the drunken worm had me alone in his chambers, I stabbed him and escaped the compound. I stole onto a cargo ship and was not discovered by the crew the until they reached the next system. They left me for dead on a desolate planetoid, alone. But that was fine by me. I was glad to be anywhere other than Sahiran. It was not luck that I was eventually rescued, of course. The Force was strong with me, though I didn't know that at the time. Not until the Jedi told me, that is. Oh. The Jedi I'd found you. I'd rather not discuss it. Perhaps another time. Is there something else you needed? Uh... All right, I guess I that's it for now. Again. Ooh, XP and levels. Well, let's level up and see what we got. We get some skills. All three skills. Um, man, I, I bump up. Uh, my security is abysmally low, so 
There's no way that's going to do anything. Uh, I could definitely use treat injury. I would really like computer use. And you know what? Computer use is already at 17. Let's uh let's try to bump up persuade. Why not, right? Okay. And what powers shall be mine? Alright, uh I've got two trees that I was working on. The stun and the stun droid. I think right now I'm more likely to be running into people than droids. Oh, restricted by armor. That's why I haven't picked it up. Doggone it. But the droid one isn't. Hmm. Alright, um... Oh, shoot. I would really like to do that. But I like my armor better. So let's grab the destroy droid one. That will still be useful. And it's not limited by armor. And we'll go ahead and accept that. Are you going to level up now? Are you going to level up now? Or are you not going to level up until I close this out? Okay. No. I can't loot the box. Alrighty then. What do we got? Oh. We need to save the game. Because we just made some progress. No. Oh. Wrong way. Alright. Run down the hallway. Let's go this way. Alright, let's try up this way first. Greetings, student. Student. I notice all the Sith have British accents. No, I can't loot his backpack. Alright. What you got? Woohoo! If it isn't the freak from the colony. Hello, freak. Hmm. You want to make go an into issue the out dueling of it? room? <laughs> I've got better things to do than give you a fair fight. You can count on seeing me later, though. My lightsaber has your name on it. You're right, because I will be adding it to my inventory. No, oh, that's not an option. That should totally be an option. You? I remember you from the hmm. colony. I can't believe you actually made it into the academy. <laughs> I remember you. I challenge you to a duel. All right. Uh, who are you? You're trying to become a Sith as well. Let's go with who are you. My name is Lasho. Remember it, for I'll be the one who earns the prestige to move on. You'll have to be satisfied with next year, I suppose. Sure. Just figure that out, did you? <laughs> it just so happens that I have a surefire way of pulling ahead in this little contest of ours. You don't really have a chance. Oh, really? Uh... Perhaps we could work hmm. together? I suppose I could use some help. The artifact I know of certainly won't be easy to take. But why should I work with you? Because I've always wanted to work with a beautiful woman. No. Uh. Ooh. Is my level high enough that I can do the Force Persuade? Yes, I do want to work with Apparently you. Apparently it is. I suppose it's huh. possible that Master Uthar could award both of us prestige. We'd be ahead of the others, for sure. Unfortunately, the Holocron lies in the gullet of a Tukata mother. I can arrange for us to a meet Tukata her, mother? but you're going to have to help me in putting her down. That makes sense to okay. you? Go into the valley when you're prepared enough. I'll be amongst the central pillars near the north end. Hmm. And why 
somebody because that was it probably contains so important. secrets from the time when the Sith ruins on this planet first existed. You don't think hmm. that Master Uthar would find that impressive? And I'm supposed to. And trust I'm just you? supposed to trust you. You're the one who has to work on this. Remember, you watch okay, me, and I'll fair. watch you. I don't trust you any more than you trust me. If you don't like that, don't come. See Remember you there? the central pillars in the valley. I'll be waiting, so don't take too long. In the valley. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love XP. I like XP. All right, that looks like the central chamber where Darth Director is. So let's check the rest of the rooms on this side first. All right, it's a bad year to try and become a Sith, you know. I've got it all wrapped up. Yeah, that's what everybody seems to. Uh... That's right. <laughs> you might as well just go home, you know. There can only be one Sith this year, and that's me. No, there can be only one. Is a different property. <laughs> okay. Uh, you better change your tone. I'm Darth Revan. Yeah, again, I don't want to... Whatever. Eh, what makes you so you sure? You think I would tell you? Have my brain started dribbling out of my nose or something? Well, I can arrange that. Maybe we can trade information? There's nothing you know that I could possibly want. Thanks, anyhow. You hanging yeah. around still? Don't you have your own plans? Not that they'll help you. I'm in for sure, you know. Ooh, that makes you, you so think sure? I would tell you? Have I... Uh, you can at least I give could, me a hint. But what would be the point in that? See you around, chump. Nah, fine. Maybe I should have been putting more, uh, more points in Persuade earlier on. Oh. Okay. Well, all right, we got Karth. Get ready for the family feud. You take a wrong turn somewhere? Dustal, is that you? Oh, lovely. It's father. Figures you'd show up after all this time. How did you manage to get inside the academy? <laughs> Through the front doors. <laughs> Cute. I wonder how interested Master Uthar would be to know just who he has in his web. Unless you've switched sides, Father. But I doubt that. Just why are you here, Father? Not for me, I hope. Couldn't you have gotten yourself blown up on some ship and spared us this reunion? Dustle, what, what, what are you talking about? I, I thought you were dead. Too bad you didn't still think that. Or did you really think I'd be happy to see you? Look, everyone, oh. it's Father. Come to rescue me at long last. Sure, he may have left Mother and I to die on Telos, but that doesn't matter. No, I didn't abandon you. The task force just arrived too late. Telos was in ruins, and your mother... I, mean, I held her while... But I looked for you. I swear, I looked everywhere. Ah, oh, save it. You abandoned us long before. We were alone all um. during the wars. And even once you came back, you still didn't stay. I didn't have a choice. I'm I was a Jedi, needed. Not a therapist. Yeah? Well, you were needed at home, too. You were needed when the bombing started, and I got captured. You know what? It doesn't matter. Not anymore. I have a new family now, a family that cares about me. I don't need you. The Sith? You can't mean that. No, the Sith killed your mother. The Sith destroyed Telos. So? You're the soldier, father. How many mothers have you killed? No, you've been brainwashed. Ooh. The son I knew would never... You never knew me. You weren't even there to know me, so don't presume to tell me what I would or wouldn't do. I don't know what's been done to you, but you are coming with me out of here now. Touch me, old man, and I'll kill yeah, you. That, that Get out! Dude, Get out of here before I tell help. the Sith that you're here. Uh, <laughs> Look. I, I'm sure this is actually going to do what the game wants me to do. But just so it bears, just because it bears stating, calm down has never caused anybody to calm down in the history of ever. But watch. I don't need his protection, no, not anymore. No. Okay, the that Sith actually give me everything works I need. True to, you can't true to life. mean that. The Sith are they're evil. They're the they're dark side. They, they took me away from you and your mother. They're, they're what took you from me. No, <laughs> they are not evil. They're not. The dark side is superior. You? You were at war long before they came along. The Sith war to conquer, to rule the helpless. I went to war for you, Dustal, for your freedom, your future. <laughs> I don't believe you. 
If I failed you, son, then it's... it's my failure. Please don't add to it by becoming part of something evil. Prove it. Prove that the Sith are okay. so evil, and I'll... I'll think about it. Uh-huh. Okay. Come with us I'm and I'll show you. I'm not gonna follow you around. Forget it. If you're caught, they'll just think I was betraying them. I'll stay right here. I won't tell anyone you're here. For now, you find some proof and you proof. bring it to me. If I hear you asking questions like 40 about me proof or, or doing no, a single proof. thing to jeopardize my position in the Sith, I swear I'll tell everyone what you're up to. You got that, Father? You prove what you're saying is true. I'm not going anywhere otherwise. I got it, Dustal. I'll be back. I swear it. Well, okay then. Now we found Karth's son. We had that wonderful little reunion of sorts. Alright, uh, not that way. Uh, what else is over this way? That was back to my quarters. That goes somewhere else. Let's check out this side now. Oh, All right. uh, hello. I don't remember seeing you here before. My name is Kel. Kel Alguin. Uh... Is something wrong? Right? I... Oh, uh, nothing. Are you sure? Yes. My master always says I'm too trusting. Too willing to show weakness. You're a Sith, so I, I really shouldn't... You know. Don't let the armor fool you, kid. I'm not a Sith yet. Oh, I know that. I mean, you aren't yet, but you intend to be. I mean, you're just like everyone else here. And you're well, not? I, 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 I didn't mean it like that. Well, how did you mean I, it? I, I shouldn't trust you. I, I can't trust you. Can I? Yeah, you I won't trust me. I don't feel I belong here. I thought maybe I did at first, but now I... I don't know. I have so many doubts. Um. <laughs> Is that it? Don't bother me with your petty weaknesses. If Master Uther probably, uh, Master Uther probably wouldn't like to hear that. That's a little too tattletaley. Yeah, let me see if I can actually persuade him to leave. And that but looks like the I only go, option. Then? What would I do? Yeah, haven't you thought about the Jedi? Uh, I, I don't know. I never really thought about it. Maybe I should seek it out. Give it a try. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yep. Sweet. One less Sith and a possible Jedi recruit. Greetings, student. Student. <laughs> no problem. Didn't work. Gill too low. Uh, all right. Well, I know what I can do about this. I can go. No, not that one. The, oh. No. Party selection is not available, eh? Um. What is Karth's skill in um, security? Oh, lower than mine. Johannes? Lower than his. <laughs> okay. Alright, I know another way to get him. <laughs> that works. Heavy repeating blaster, which is some nice credits. An assassin pistol, which is some nice credits. And a sniper rifle, which is... The nice credits. Got it. Right. Let's head this way first. And that goes to Uther Wind's room. Uh, I'm not ready to go. Oh, knocking down the door isn't no an option. Problem. Didn't work. Yeah, I kind of figured skill was too low for that one. Uh, let's see if we can find another way in. I have a funny feeling since what's her name wants us to betray him, there might be a way to do that. Alright, is that everybody? 
Where is everybody on that half? Ooh. There'll be some conversations to have here. Alright, nothing on this way. So we got some stuff to the north side. That is a dead end. We got the east side and the Anything actually to the south? Oh, there is. Oh, that's back to uh, the colony. Greetings, Deep. student. Student. All right, let's try these guys. You aren't even quick. a full Sith. Don't bother me. Sorry, I don't have time to speak. My training. There are some students in hiding that refuse to follow an order. Master Uthar wants them found and dead and is offering a reward for it, too. Mm. If Master Uthar gives you an order, you'd better follow it. There were some students who disobeyed him, and now they're... Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. There, there's some students out How there that need to kill him. do hopeful, seeking prestige? Yes. Well, yes. It wasn't that bad a movie. Oh, wait, you're talking about something different. <laughs> Can you help do me? Do you know of our renegade students? Um, the ones that I've heard from everybody that happened to be Those walking by in your shop. Ones. It seems you have already <laughs> kind of hard to not hear them. There is little more I can tell you then. Should you locate their hiding place, you would gain considerable prestige. I am I'm sure. sure. Now, if you will excuse me. I must return to my studies. Okay. And what Greetings. about you, good sir? You're one of the new hopefuls, aren't you? I imagine you're eager to garner some prestige from Master Uthar. Why, well, I am. Anything you can help mm. me with? Now that depends. Do you know anything about Ajuntapal? Ajuntapal? Ajuntapal was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. At least, according to the ruins here on Karaban, one of the tombs out in the Valley of the Dark Lords belongs to him. He wielded a powerful sword, by all accounts. Oh. Some of us believe it might be in okay. that tomb, which is quite exciting. His according sword, huh? to legend, Ajunta Paul forged a sword imbued with the essence of the dark side. Someone who found it could okay. gain considerable prestige. Has anybody Some tried? unsuccessful attempts have been made. I truly don't know why a more concerted effort isn't made, however. How do I get into well, the valley? You simply need to follow the East Passage. There's an exit okay. there which will lead you up to the surface. Look for Tariga. She is in that area and can probably help you. What do you know about the sword's well, powers? the legends say the sword had dark power. But that may only be a story. We will never know unless we can examine it more closely. Hmm. I imagine you've got Sounds a lot like to a do. plan. That's a lot better prestige and probably less likely to earn me dark side points than just slaying a bunch of students. Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You will mm -hmm. have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. All right. All right, uh, so let's try to test my short-term memory then finish and see the if code I can. As I speak it, <laughs> peace is a lie that is only peace is a lie. There is only strength. No, 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 that <sighs> is incorrect. I would have thought merely reciting Dent. the code to be a simple matter. Oh well. cheat on this one.
because the short term memory is not killing me. Well, I'm waiting for that to load. Uh, I've got something oh, to tell you about. What is Ether. my apprentice up to now? Uh, yep, Jeter. She wants me to help her kill you I see. at the final trial. It is good that you have come to me with this information, young one. It is a bit ironic that Euthura has begun her plotting. <laughs> I have been aware of her growing ambitions for some time, and had in fact already decided to remove her. Normally, the one who gains the most prestige would engage in a final trial. Two of the students would fight. This time, it will be Euthura who battles, though she does not yet know it. Perhaps it will be uh -huh. you who combats her. Yes, perhaps so. This is what you can do. Give this pad to Adrenus. He will put some poison in her bath. This will weaken <laughs> Euthura for that final test, okay. making her an easy target. Rather generous of me, don't you think? I'd love to know what's going on in that tricky mind of yours. For coming to me with this information and betraying your <laughs> foolish trainer, I feel you are worthy of prestige, young one. Go now. Oh, thank you. You have not yet impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. I bet you do. All right, let's try then the code, finish the code again. as I speak it. Peace is a lie that is only passion fruit. Through passion, I gain. That's where the strength comes. Through in. strength, I gain. Yeah, power. Then comes through the victory. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, victory. I change the broken. The force shall I've free me. Free. Yes, oh, yeah. that's something good. very different. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing yep, the words I have are, indeed however, learned the code two of different things. I mean, the code Tell of me Sith. then, true or false? <laughs> victory by any means is desirable. Mm, by any means. Hmm. False. No. Unless victory proves your superiority, it is an illusion. Oh. It is temporary. Okay. Sadly, it seems you did not understand the code as well as I thought. Okay. You wish to know more about me, do you? And why would I indulge your idle curiosity? Will we be good friends, you think? I strived many years to hold Yeah, this my is my power, first playthrough. Until I was able to drive out my predecessor and rule the academy. If you are smart, you will aim to do the same. I or struggle better. at the short term. There is term nothing else you too. need to know. Do not ask again, young one. All right. Ooh, that'll let me try. Then the code finish the code again. as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only There is only passion. Through passion, Through passion, I gain. I gain strength. Through strength, Through strength I gain. I gain power. Through power, Through power I gain. I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are the broken. The force shall free me. Yes, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however. Two yeah, different yeah, yeah. things. Tell me then, true or, false. Some true or false? Victory by any 50, means 50. is desirable. Oh, 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 you just asked me that one? Well false. done. I will test you no more. <laughs> you know the code. Very oh. impressive. That's Go it? now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. <laughs> I have matters okay, to attend fine, to. fine, fine. I got the prestige. Gotcha. I'll be Very well. Way. You have impressed me. Definitely a good I've impressed start. you by running through the code three times. <laughs> All right. Um, it looks like I need to find this person who will poison the bath. Greetings, right? student. Man, they do sound so dismissive on that. Greetings, student. I've never been sure if that's just because it's somebody struggling with a British accent. <laughs> or... Oh, okay. This must be that demon I remember what I was talking about. No? No, uh, no lockers I can liberate of material? Alright, you know what? Alright. Huh. Another hopeful wandering about the academy? <sighs> I suppose you want to know how to get prestige. Well. Can you help huh. me? As if I didn't have better things to do. Has anyone told you about Jorak Um? Well, the first thing you should know is that it's not a name you should mention around Master Uthar if you can avoid it. Jorak Un was once Uthar's master, you see, and the head of this academy. 
He went a little insane, however, and Uthar Only forced him to insane? flee to the surface and hide. It seems that Jorak has been spending his time kidnapping students who wander into the Valley of the Dark Lord. No idea why. <laughs> I've also no idea why Uthar doesn't right. do something about it. If you want prestige, however, you'll find that hermit, as everyone calls him. You'll find Jorak and either kill him or bring back anything he's been writing. Uthar would like that. Now be gone. Okay. I have better things to do than chat with lost hope. That gives me some options. And what about you, good sir? You got anything worthwhile? Tong Did um Were you supposed to be a Twilight and the skin glitch? Alright, uh, uh, What can you tell me about the valley? There are four teams that have uncovered so far. Each one of them was so far from the time long ago when the Sith was first on Korriban. We found evidence of their larger structures underground, a veritable ancient fortress. But it appears to have been destroyed. The tombs are all in the middle of So they want you to think. Dun, dun, dun. Or maybe that's only added to the lore after the MMO came out. Apparently, we're allowed to access only three of the tombs. The one the to the left. Oh, gotcha. But the last one on the left is the one I have to do last. Because that's where we are coming Alright. Fortunately, it's still much else for us to find. Mm. Alright. Yeah, anything I could be watching for? This kid is full of dangerous creatures. How dangerous are these creatures? <laughs> there are guards that will protect you if you remain in the south part of the valley, however. Okay. Uh. Sorry, right? <laughs> 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 can only be burned or moved by explosives. Oh. That I got. That I can do something about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all I'm getting is pack of XP wandering about so I can level up a little bit more before we uh, move too much for fur further. You haven't been trying too hard. Uh, 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 I bet you do. And what about you? Seriously? Oh, 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 you're the guy I gotta get the, uh, the thing to. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, let me start with this. <laughs> he did. <laughs> As the master requests, of course. Thank you for bringing us to it. You're welcome. Oh, I was going to ask you other questions, but fine. All right, what is? Oh, that's the door to the. Okay, that's the door to the valley. Greetings, student. Oh, student. Uh. Oh yeah. One of my friends went to find that crazy droid that's hiding in the ruins in the valley. He hasn't come back yet. That crazy droid. One of my friends went to find that crazy droid that's hiding in the ruins. He hasn't come back yet. How do you do, hopeful? Seeking prestige. Why, yes, yes. I am. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going with the renegade students. 
the yeah, one. Uh, there the is ones. little more I can tell yeah, you. Yada, yada, yada. Now, we'll get if you spot. Ex- okay. Anything else I can get out of the. Ooh. What's in the random cylinder? Alright, I'll take those. Sorry, I don't have time to speak. My training. If Master Uthar gives you an order, you better follow it. There were some students who. Huh. Yeah. Another hopeful wandering about the academy. No. Nope. <laughs> I. Okay. Oh, because you're the same group that I was talking to earlier. All right. Let's see. Let's double check the map real quick. All right. That's going to take us back out to the town. That's going to take us to the quarters. Those are our quarters there. So we need to hang a left and see what's down that last hallway to the east. All right, we've already talked to everybody in here. One of my Hello, friends went student. to find that crazy uh, droid okay. that's hiding in the ruins Something of the valley. Something crazy droid. Come back. Hey, hey, I'm trying to talk to you. Greetings, student. Ah. That's it. That's all you guys get. All right, there's the dueling room. And there's the interrogation room. All right, uh, you know what? I got a bad feeling that this could go sideways, so let's go ahead and save that. Okay. Uh, maybe you can do better than I. This Mandalorian is proving more resistant than I expected. What did you expect? It's a Mandalorian. What you trying I'm to do? I'm trying to get him to tell us where his weapon cache is hidden. So far, <laughs> all the serum combinations I'm using are proving ineffective. Ineffective. If I bring his drug threshold too high, he'll go into shock and be useless. Too low, and he too just low, refuses to talk. To talk. It's been this sounds mad. oddly familiar. Like the Republic had me, uh... Uh, how do you Just want me to activate drink? the console. No. It gives you a variety of options for serum dosage. The right amount applied at the right rate should do it. The real trick hmm. is that the only way to gauge your progress is to watch the prisoner closely for his reaction. Our scanners, scanners can't pick good. up his vitals. Well, they're not very good, are you? Certainly. I just, <laughs> don't, just don't kill, kill him, him or send him into shock. He's, He's supposed sp- to be questioned, <laughs> not executed. If you manage to All get right. the location of his cash out of him, I'll be sure to pass on the good word to Master Yutha. Okay, then. Uh, oh. Oh, no, that's locked. Oh, come on, dude. You gotta let me around. What? Yes? I hate that these guys keep getting in your way. Let's see. He's imprisoned and cannot respond, huh? We eat a non diet. He's <laughs> what I you wish you will not. Wanna who who not a dick? I mind is my uh, own. No, I will tell you doga. nothing. Wanna goose be a ching? No, 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 no. You, you're supposed to adopt a cheesy German accent and go, I know nothing? Okay. Ooh. Do you know anywhere I can see him? Puna! Oh, come on, man. I'm trying to help you. Seriously. Um, Alright. I really want to do the Force Persuade because I'm pretty sure that has a higher success chance, but uh, let's go with just the trust me. Okay. <laughs> You can speak the truth, then use the console to put me in a catatonic state. As opposed to a gin and tonic state? Your people will remove me, throw me away, and I can survive for long periods and can escape then. Okay. Alright. How do I wish to use the console in a way that doesn't get me dark side points? True serum, high, moderate, small, anti serum, 
and computer skills. Okay. 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 I told you not to put the prisoner into shock, didn't I? Now, how are we supposed to find out where the weapon cache is? You thought we'd be furious. Because he told me. Now, I may as well take this fool and dump him somewhere. He's useless to us. I cannot believe you are so incompetent. Oh, will you stop lecturing at me? Alright. Alright. I'm gonna tell Uzo that I found the cache anyway. But first, let's see who's in the duel. Yeah. Come on. Quit the pretty show and uh, let's get to this. Hmm. I think I know exactly where this if is going. If you're here to use the dude, you don't have to through with it for the moment. Don't yeah, be no. foolish. If Uthar wants to send an order like that, he can bloody well tell me himself. <laughs> okay. If you're here to use the dueling room, go ahead. What kind of This dueling? is where you get to hone your killing style. We get sent captives all the time to practice on. It's very handy. <laughs> you only get so many before the terminal cuts you off. Some of the students are a little bloodthirsty okay. and get carried away, after all. It'd be a waste just to execute them. At least this way, they're useful. I'm tempted to challenge him to a duel, but I'm not sure how that's no going problem. to do so should... Enjoy. Yeah. No. Um. Verifying identity. Yeah. Let's slice the console. Ooh. Oh, I don't have 50 spikes. Doggone it. Alright, so I can hack into the security cameras and the data files. And for another 30, and reprogram the sentry birds to hunt a target. Alright, I'll hang on to that option for a moment. Let's get the security cameras. Okay. That didn't really help. What about the data files? Files, student, dustal, oh, nasi. Considerable. Oh. Huh. Okay, so somebody's holding him back. Alright, um. Alright, let me log out because I don't have the 50 spikes to open all the cages. And we're not going to hunt a target just yet. Just be careful if you go into the valley. I hear there's a hermit living in the hills that kidnaps students. Hmm. Alright, I'm not liking a lot of the options I have available there. Let's head back to the master now. Or, no, let's head back to uh, La Chica, who tried to get us to kill the master. And then we'll head back to him. And then we'll probably be wrapping it up soon, too. Is that it? Oh, no. I'm on the long hallway, aren't I? Yeah. That's the long hallway. 
Alright, let's keep on going. Oh, well, I'm... Oh, no, there she is. I understand you have impressed Master Uthar <laughs> at least a little. a little. That is good. We are one step closer toward completing my plan. Were I you, I would not get too excited just yet. You still have plenty left to do. Hmm. Uh, I got some more news about Uthar. What? What's happened? Our plan is still intact, I hope. <laughs> he plans to have me fight you ah, in the final test. How very clever of him. Normally you would face some other student in the tomb, preferably one of the failed ones. Obviously Uthar has decided to get rid of me. But why? Did you say something to him? <laughs> yeah, persuade lie? No, of course not. Yeah, we've seen how well my persuade skill works, so I'm gonna get... I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to lie. Yep. What? I told him. Oh, while I respect your attempt to play both sides of the fence, you are playing a dangerous game. If the you think Uthar game. will truly be so grateful to you for double-crossing me, think again. Your only chance lies with me. In the end, it works out better that it is only the two of us in the tomb with him. <laughs> so long as we refuse to fight, is there anything else I should know? <laughs> Alright, my only option is to lie. Hmm. Well, Good. Nothing else. I'm not about to rest on my laurels, however. What? Here, no, I don't. This know. pass card will allow you access to Uthar's quarters. It's at the far end of the passages oh, with the other quarters. Take this device as well and do. put it inside his cot. No one should see you do it. Then Uthar will be too weak to stand up against us. Don't even think of failing me. You and I are too far into this now to back out. Mm -hmm. Alrighty then. Let us head over to uh, Mr. Uthar's quarters. And what's in the footlocker? A data pad. That data pad, just take a look at it. I wonder if Dustal knows his friend was disposed of like that. If not, it might convince Dustal that what we're saying about the Sith is true. And it'd be worth a shot. All right, so let's do that. Let's take a look while I'm thinking about it. Uh, oh, yeah, no, that's not a good pistol. That's not a good blaster. Standard frag grenades. So the data pad. The data pad appears to contain numerous entries of notes made by Master Uthar of the Sith Academy. Most prominent of the recent entries is the following. The pupil known as Dustal has shown remarkable progress. His talent with the Force is great. The same, however, cannot be said for the human female that he arrived with, Selene. He has little talent. Moreover, Dustal holds a great degree of affection for him. This is a weakness in the boy and has been slowing down his training. Orders were sent this morning to have the girl removed from the academy and terminated. I will tell Dustal that she was killed in the valley. He will forget her soon enough, I think. He is too promising to lose at this juncture. Well then. That should prove the Sith are evil, right? And packs, yada yada, pass card. Okay. Sith device. Okay, a small electronic device appears to be completely self-operating once attached to a specific surface. It will begin deploying whatever trap is inside. Yurutha has not explained exactly what the device does, simply that it must be placed inside Master Uthar's bed. Okay. Alright, so that was everything out of the footlocker. Um, Alright, I'm not going to take my chances on... Uh, uh, huh. All right. There we go. One device placed. XP earned. Now let's go talk to the kid. 
and see if we can convince him the Sith are evil. I wasn't expecting to be able to finish that part of the quest line up. Uh, Alright, not that hallway. Short term memory, something or other. I knew he was in one of the south sides. Just not that one. Yep, yep, yep. Mr. Let him stand outside the door. Okay, Mr. Dustal. Back already. So I got something father, for you. Where's this proof you promised? I have a data pad I want you to look at. You knew someone named Celine? Celine? She's the one who convinced me to come to the academy with her. Why? Where did you get this? Look at it. It belongs to Master Uthar, doesn't it? Yes, it's his, mm -hmm. but he told me he he said that she'd been lost on a mission in the valley. This this says that they killed her because she was hindering your progress. Superiority at any cost, Dustal. There's so your evil. Lesson there, kid. Or can you live with that? No. No, I can't. I, I had no idea. They lied to me. Well, there's the son I remember. Now, will you leave here? I... No. You go do whatever you have to, Father. I have some other friends here. I have to warn them what's going on. And maybe I can, you know, look around here and find out some more information from the inside. Something that might help you. I don't suppose there's any way I could talk you out of that, is there? I mean, you're not gonna do anything halfway. Sounds familiar. I guess it does. I'm proud of you, Dustal. You aren't yeah. hanging on to a lie after you see it for what it is. Not everyone could do that. Maybe after this is all over, we can talk. I'm still not sure about us, but I'll listen. Maybe we can get back yeah, to where we This is the wrong been. music to have oh, behind like this that. conversation. I'll go back to Telos when this is over. <laughs> you can find me there. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, son. Good luck. Good luck. Ooh, light side points. Yep. Yeah, he took the data pad. Ah, uh, oh, can't loot his locker. Oh, well. All right, let's go talk to the master and see if we can double cross the double cross. Yeah. And then we'll probably start wrapping things up a little Do not bit. forget our agreement regarding Euthura's treachery. We shall put her in her place, should you reach the final test, that is. I know the location of the Mandalorian prisoner's weapon sketch. That is most interesting. Where might that be? It's hidden within a trapdoor mm. ship. How ironic that I recently had his vessel scrapped for parts then. I had assumed it had been thoroughly scanned. Apparently not. Still, you have done well in bringing me information that others could not unearth on their own. I am impressed. Go now. You have Good. done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. Oh. I have matters to attend to. Okay. I'll be you have gained way. considerable prestige. You are very close to the end. Do not falter now. Alright, some more XP earned. Now, uh, that will take me back to the ship. And... Yeah, that is the whole of this area. I'm... Not doing any of the stuff in the dueling room. Not yet, anyway. I'm... Definitely gonna head back to the valley. Ah, we'll go just a little bit longer. Actually, you know what? No. Let, let's uh, let's run back to the ship because uh, we've leveled up a little bit. And off camera, between now and next week, I'm gonna grab everybody quickly, put them in my party on and off, so that way. Uh, if anybody is going to level up, I can level them up. And I want to start off... Are those guys still standing there? No, they're gone. Um, and I want to start off uh, next week talking to all the minions real quick, just since we've leveled up and all that good stuff. And I, I want to see if any of them have any uh, conversations to continue. Because I know there's one or two that we haven't quite hit the full the full extent of conversations with. Uh, if you were watching Coffee Craft last week, you would remember that I had a couple of things I wanted to talk about, and it looks like I didn't get a chance to... Dude, seriously? Okay. Um, but I just kind of ran out of time for that, that bit. Uh... I will, I will succinctly say that I have been watching uh, Thor Skywalker's YouTube channel. He is a wonderful channel to watch. 
If you're a fan of Star Wars and Marvel, his last few videos have been... Uh-oh. What is this about? Greetings, <laughs> evening. A word, if I may. It concerns the Dark Lord of the Sith. Mm-hmm. Uh... <laughs> I am the Dark Lord of the Sith. No, I am... No. I am Spartacus. No. Uh... You mean... Malik? Oh. Oh, you know. Oops. I'm speaking of Dark Riven. Of you. Funny, everybody else has been going... I don't know who you are, man. Um... How do you know who I am? <laughs> uh, okay. I am a businessman. I and my partner deal in rare items of extraordinary value and power. So, uh, you're at the exchange? Oh, no. Independent Traditionally, we have always done business with the owner of the Urban Hawk. Davit King most recently. Uh, yada yada, before, before, but we were reluctant to approach you. Why, it's not like people have a history of dying around me. You had no chance to exchange, which was a problem, even worse for a Jedi. Not the sort of person we normally associate with. You don't say. Alright, um... So get to the point. How do you know my true identity? There are reports of the other hawk traveling to many different planets. We want to know what you're up to at your last port. I placed a small tracking device on your ship. Um, the tracking device reported back to us that you had been captured by the Leviathan. Once we had that information, we began digging into your sources within the Sith fleet. Alright. What sort of... <laughs> There are millions of soldiers. No, no, oh, millions of soldiers in the Sith fleet. Surely you aren't surprised that some of them will sell information. Even high-ranking officers aren't immune to lure of credits. Well, um, I will say that the captain did have a fair chunk of change on him. Uh, are you saying this is your money? Yeah, yes, Pays on Leviathan created quite a stir in the Sith fleet. Of course, Malik tries, tried to suppress the truth about your identity. There are more than a few summary ah. Even if security footage is destroyed and witness the silence, some bits of information Spend enough credits to gather the tiny pieces, and the puzzle becomes clear. We know what happened on the line. At least we know enough. You are Darth Revan, and you are going to kill Malak for daring to claim dominion over the Sith. Uh, <laughs> all right, let, let's skip the revenge bit, and uh, let's go to how does this involve you? My partner and I deal in very rare and powerful items, weapons, armor, things you could use in your battles against Malik and the Sith. And you're just going to give these items? <laughs> oh, I don't carry these items with me, they're with my partner. But they're yours, if you get the credits to buy them. We don't want to make a profit on this. Uh, yeah, okay. Sure. An independent businessman such as yourself just doesn't happen to want to make a profit. Okay. Just go to the cantina, there's a roadie in there named Mika Dorn. Tell him that I sent you to look at the premium items. I'll go check it out. He already knows to expect you. Like I said, he's telling you want to look at the premium items. Okay. I want to look at the premium items. I guess my work here is done. Goodbye, Revan. And once Malik is beaten, don't forget who helped you.
Well, okay then. All right, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Come on, I just want to get in the ship. Does everybody have a little side conversation? What the hell is your kind doing here? Bad enough I have to deal with all these other idiots, but now there's a stinking oh. Cathar on this world too. Oh no. I have as much right to be here as you do, sir. Let him go. <laughs> yeah, do like the Jedi tells you and back off. Your people are pathetic. There's no wonder we crashed your world so You don't want to do this. What do you know about my world? I know enough that... Hey, wait a minute. You look familiar somehow. What? Oh. You. Uh... We should just this leave. This doesn't concern you, Jedi trash. Hmm. Now where could I have... All right. No, he's dead and she likely is too. I... What are you talking about? Maybe I was wrong. Still, I think a specimen like you would be a nice addition to my collection. Th this is how so, people end up dead, dude. what would it take, Don't. Jedi, for you to sell your pet here to me? Uh... <laughs> Oh, that's even an option? Well, what are you offering? No, 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 no. He is not now, for sale. Now, don't be so selfish. We both know Cathair aren't real people anyway. Mm. The females make amusing pets. Seriously? But the males should be put down like the animals they are. I remember We're one time there. on Taurus. What? What did you say? Uh... All right, slow your roll, What did you do on Taris, you scum? Put one of you down like the animals you are. So easy. Then I saw one of the females on the auction block. <sighs> but uh. those darn Jedi. It was you. What? Me? Oh, oh. Well, I guess this now was a side I quest I was wondering I've if it would trigger. Face before. You were the little Cathair I was going to purchase. But those Jedi came and stole my pet away from me. Dude, don't. <laughs> when I was fighting with the Mandalorians against the Cathar, I developed an appreciation for these creatures. They make excellent yeah, servants no. if properly no. trained. You Jedi act all prim and proper, but inside you must feel the same way I do about the lesser non-human uh, species. No. The Sith at least let their feelings show on the outside. Nope, 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 nope. You, the home world. Come now. Will you let your pet go? I'm sure uh, we can come that's up That's a negative ghost rider. We both think is fair. He is not And I will for see sale. you dead for what you have done to my people. Uh, no, 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 no. Hold on a second. D don't be don't hasty. Don't do it, Johnny. There's no emotions. I, I will remain calm. I am a Jedi now. My lust for vengeance must be curbed. Yes, yes. Say no to the dark side, but I will have <laughs> you yet. Ha! Uh. Yeah. Turn around. Walk away. All right. Um. Let's try this again. Let's try to get into the ship again. There we go. All right. So, off camera, I'm going to run each of these guys outside, see if anybody needs to level up, then take care of things appropriately. I'll run around and have various conversations because I think... Uh, now that we took care of Karth's kid, he's going to want to talk. Uh, I don't think we finished everything with Jolie. And I'm pretty sure that Juhani's got new conversation options available now, too. Um, I'll also ditch some of the quest items that I've accumulated into storage. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. 
Uh, I, I, I won't say this, though. Um, actually, I, I can talk while I ditch some items into storage. Um, in a couple of... Uh, which to give items. Uh, in a couple of uh, Thor Skywalker's videos, he was talking about some of the uh, some of the upcoming options, both for future trilogies and for Episode Nine. Like apparently there is a rumor, and it is just a rumor. Nothing has been confirmed that. Uh, Kevin Feige really wants to get Keanu Reeves into a Star Wars movie. And there's also some chatter about, um, what's her name? Played Captain Marvel. Can't believe I'm blanking on the name. Uh, anyway, that there there's a chance that she is going to be offered the opportunity to be in a Star Wars movie. What I would really hope to see is that um, the the two directors that worked on um, I guess I can't give those quest items away. All right. The two directors that worked on Game of Thrones who are also supposed to be working on uh, a trilogy for Disney. My hope is that they will be given the uh, rumored Knights of the Old Republic storyline to work with. Uh, there, there's a lot of anger about Benioff and Weiss possibly getting a trilogy, and it seems that their people are mostly mad because the last two, se the last couple seasons of Game of Thrones was kind of bad, and. I really think the the problem is that that has a lot more to do with the fact that the last few seasons of Game of Thrones played to their weaknesses and not their strengths. Their strength is in adapting existing material to a new medium. So their best work on the show happened when they had the books already there to work with. And once they ran out of book material, once the show ran ahead of the books, um, we saw we saw what they produce when they don't have source material to work with. The nice thing about if they were to take something like uh, the Revan story out of Knights of the Old Republic is they would have, assuming they're willing to use it, a large reservoir of existing material between the games and other materials that's come out. They, they could do some amazing stuff with that material in it. It would be nice. I, I know Disney's all, you know, uh, the the old extended universe is now legends. But it would also be good if they said, but some legends are true. And then brought in, you know, give Keanu Reeves the Darth Revan role. Uh, you know, give what's her name the role for Bastila and, and make it all work from there. Uh, that, 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 that could be nice. Although there there are times that I wonder if J.J. Uh, Abrams wasn't trying to go a Darth Revan parallel route because uh, Thor Skywalker was talking about his theory in a couple of his videos about how it seems like, though no one has confirmed, it seems like that J.J. Abrams was trying to get um, was trying to get um, a push. From uh, like the the mask of Vader was pushing Ben Solo uh, a little darker, and it was drawing him to the dark side. Whereas Anakin Saber was pulling towards the light because again in Anakin Skywalker we had a character like Revan who started off a light side Jedi, fell to the dark side, and was eventually redeemed. And just like in all the various other material that's cropped up around the Darth Revan character where there are artifacts of his light and dark sides that are able to influence people because of the the amount of uh, personality, force impression, whatever, however you want to word it, that's attached to that artifact. Um, 
that you kind of get the same effect with Anakin's artifacts. Uh, unfortunately, once uh, once the last Jedi hit, it kind of blew a lot of things out of the water. But I'll, I'll save that. I'll save that and a couple other things for another day. I, I've still got my notes. What I will do instead is I will try to move my switcher somewhere where I can see it while still looking at the camera. And I'll head over the credits and say thank you for joining along. Um, no, there it goes. All right? Yes? No? Yes, there it goes. Okay. Um, thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. I do this as a part of Season 1 of Games Revisited. Every Thursday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I usually go until about 8 o'clock or so. I know early on I was going all the way till 9, but um, three hours is just a little, little too long. I do have all the previous episodes archived up on YouTube, so if you're watching this live on Mixer or Twitch, uh, I, I am on both simulcasting. You'll see in the description below the link to the YouTube channel where you can also subscribe and get notified when the archives are uploaded. Uh, I do have some plans for other material that's going to go up on the YouTube channel, so if you want to see more than just this game or more than just a, a look at classic games in the past, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, what, right now, one of the other things you'll see there is the stream archives from CoffeeCraft. That is the uh, Let's Play Minecraft server that I run with Arcadius and Ray Est. We are in Season 0. This is our training season where we get used to actually running a legit server server and uh, working on streaming, trying to get the trying to get this sort of stuff down, working on recording, trying to do some bigger builds and get into a little bit more explaining what we're doing and, and getting ready. At this juncture, it looks like we're going to start season one sometime in January. And we will also bring in a fourth member of the server in January. So look forward to that coming up soon. And as I said, i got a few other things that I'd like to do with the channel. Um, I, I'm on a working sabbatical right now. There, there's a little bit more about that on my website, anonjunior.com. Uh, should be up that way-ish. Yeah, there we go. Um, and... Uh, there's a little bit more on, on that end of things there. All right, I'm going to save and close this. That way I can see some of my other stuff out of here. And in addition to trying to do the streaming and the game, the gaming stuff, I would also like to... to I'm going to be working on guitar luthier stuff. I'm working in a repair shop right now, cleaning instruments where... We work with all sorts of band and orchestra instruments, and I'm going to start taking some guitar repair classes, uh, which means that if I get into one of the early classes, there might be a couple of weeks that get skipped in November, and that is only if something opens up at the last minute. Otherwise, depending on scheduling, I may have to reshuffle some things in January, and I will post that on Twitter which you'll see up, uh, oh, <laughs> it's not on the screen, but it is down in the description below. Um, so I, I will post that up on Twitter, and I will also post that up on my website, which is down in the description below. And uh, and so I'll, I'll try to keep you guys updated on that as things progress. And uh, have fun. Enjoy. Hope to see you next week.